I think what's really important is the uh, recognition that they want a strong independent judiciary as well, and they're looking at the, uh, the court structure, the revamping of the court structure as well. So there's a lot of things that have been done within China, and I'm glad to have been part of it. It's been a very good tour for me as, uh, as a federal judge, especially doing this work. And I am now a senior judge as, as I can quit. And uh, as you know, Article Three judges in the United States, we get paid for life regardless of whether or not we work. Uh, I choose to remain on so that I can continue to do this rule of law work around the world. Uh, I just returned uh, from China in the first week of February, working on uh, their, uh, with the research department uh, uh, in the Supreme People's Court and also uh, arms of the uh, National People's Congress uh, in working on rewriting of the pharmaceutical laws. Uh, and then the last part of February, I returned back to after Hong Kong, we went to Guangzhou, where there is so much of these uh, piracy occurring in the Guangdong province to work on uh, intellectual property uh, understanding and enforcement. So there has been a lot that, that continues here and around the world. Uh, one of the staffers for the Committee 100 says, you look awfully tired just as we started this, uh, this session here. And I said, you ought to know, we start our membership meetings at 7 a.m. And, uh, and I'm not staying here at the hotel, so I'm getting very few hours of sleep each evening. But more importantly, I just returned uh, from uh, Chile, doing a program in Chile, which just dovetails after doing a program in Mexico City, all of, under the auspices of rule of law. So this is a very important topic, the rule of law. And with regard to the rule of law, uh, on this panel, we have a wonderful panel to help us explore this uh, rule of law topic with regard to the experience that we have in China. On this program, on the panel, each of us will speak here momentarily at the lectern and then we'll have a little bit of dialogue uh, where we're seated in the uh, seats before you. Uh, during the pendency of the program presentation, if you come up with any uh, questions that you would like to follow up with and ask, I think you can uh, have some cards on your chairs. You can write a note and pass it on to a staffer. They will be forwarded to me, and uh, at the appropriate time, I can uh, uh, quiz the uh, panelists with regard to your points of inquiry. <coughs> with regard to the panelists that we have here, the, their uh, bios are in the program book that's, that you already have. But let me just uh, summarily say, and this is only summarily, uh, uh, pr uh, presentation for each of them. Uh, each of them will expound a little bit more about their activities because these very humble people have not really put everything in their uh, bio. Uh, first of all, from uh, China, we have uh, Tai Yong Huang, or Huang Tai Yong. And uh, Mr. Huang is currently the Deputy Director of the Department of Criminal Legislation of the Legislative Affairs Commission of the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress of China. Long title, important mission, very important. Certainly, we're fortunate to have him here. He's, he certainly is a wonderful scholar in this topical area. He has received uh, research uh, scholarships at the University of Nottingham in, from 1991 to 1992 in, uh, in uh, England. <laughs> and uh, that was followed up by being a visiting scholar at uh, uh, Yale Law School in 2000. And we're so fortunate to have him here in America as a visiting scholar at NYU Law School uh, for this period of time. Therefore, I was able to get him here to be able to speak to us. To his left, uh, uh, Jeffrey uh, Sean Lehman. He is currently the chancellor and founding dean of the Peking University School of transnational law. Uh, if he doesn't explore more of this, I will explore it for you by following up questions because this is quite interesting. He's creating a new concept that will begin as a school in the year 2008. But he has a real healthy background, just summarily. He has been a Supreme Court law clerk. He has practiced uh, tax law. He has been a professor with law schools. He has been the past president of uh, the American Law Deans Association 
and a past president of uh, the Cornell University. Uh, he has received many honors and distinction, and I think we're really happy to have him here as well. And lastly, on the, but not least, uh, nor the shortest, is uh, Karen C. I I'm not um, that short. <laughs> Please don't stand up. You show how short you are. But anyway, Karen is a good friend. She's a founder and the CEO of the International Bridge to Justice, uh, which is headquartered in Geneva, Switzerland, uh, on a, a board of which I sit on uh, at her behest <coughs> and Charlie C's behest. Not by total desire on my part, but in any event, she has been uh, working on the ground in China and otherwhere, implementing uh, groundbreaking uh, measures of judicial reform uh, within China. I think uh, the, her, her participation certainly will round out what is really an important aspect of rule of law that all of you should know. Now, these people on the panel like myself, are law related. Rule of law might sound foreign to each of you, and I know a lot of you are not lawyers, but recognize this as a concept. Rule of law is probably the most important topic, as I see it, of all the topics that's ever presented. Because under this topical title, rule of law, it affects every aspect of one's life. It, that's the reason why I cannot have a panel that would be with the breath that would reflect how important rule of law is. It <coughs> affects individual rights, affects society in general, it affects the economy. You heard the Stapleton Roy and Hill talk about how rule of law promotes the economy's growth. It just, it just pr promotes peace in general. And I'm a true believer in that, and that's the reason why I've been working on this area and will remain working in this area because I think as a contribution in, as a, in my form of public interest work, this is the one area that affects everybody within a country or within any country around the world. It is so important. 